Alors ça, c'est l'histoire de quand j'attendais pour mon bus. Je m'étais sentie mal à l'aise toute la journée et j'avais la caméra que mon père m'avait donnée. Et je voulais trouver des choses intéressantes à photographier. Alors je me promenais dans la ville que je visitais et il était devenu très tard. Alors je suis allée prendre mon dernier bus. Excuse me. Hi, sorry. Do you know when the next bus to Boxford is? Ah, uh, yeah, there should be one pretty soon. It usually is around this time. It's not usually so empty around here, though. Do you usually take these bus? Day in, day out. Just doing my bit for the environment. But actually, that's a lie. <laughs> I just couldn't afford a car on the wages that I was on. Do you, uh, do you live around here? No, I'm visiting my uncle here. Yeah, but I felt like going out and exploring the town. Did you find anything worth taking a picture of? No, again. <laughs> but it's a very nice town. Did you see the castle? Did you take a picture of that? No, I mean I saw it, but I didn't take any photos. Didn't really feel like it. So what do you do? As of today, nothing. I was a trainee law solicitor. What about you? I go to university in France. What do you study? Photography. <laughs> So what's happened to your job? Property law. People aren't buying houses, so... Sorry. No, no, don't be. It's not your fault. It was the last in and the first out, so... It makes sense the way the market is. see it? Oh no, sorry. Not till it's developed. Oh, here's my bus. Uh, will you send it to me? Sure. Oh, brilliant. Um, take this. Thanks. Well, it's great to meet you. Uh, Isabel. Isabel. I'll send it to you. For one reason or another, it was the best photo I've taken. Il s'assit là avec une expression de solitude. Peut-être qu'il attendait quelque chose. Comme moi. Peut-être qu'il rêvait d'amour. Ou rêvait de la vie. 